Oh, what's up, people? Dr. Wolf Sprite here, and welcome to another Yu Gi Oh! pack opening. And you know what the month is? Snow is falling all around me, children playing, and tonight, little shits. <laughs> yes, people, welcome to December. Yes, the Christmas month. Now, hopefully, you guys are going to have yourself a fantastic Christmas this year. We're going to go ahead this year, this month's pack opening, with some great products. And pretty much this is going to be like the eight days of Christmas for me because it's eight pack openings. You're going to get one on Christmas Day, people, so get yourself prepared for that. But today's episode, we're opening up something all the way from Japan. And it's a new type of Yu-Gi-Oh game called Rush Duel. This game has been out for quite some time now and I bought pretty much every single set that came out in Japan that I could have found. And today we're going to be opening up one that's called Gold Rush Pack. It paid. It cost me 1,650 yen for a booster box of this, which is dirt, dirt cheap. That's less than about well, less than 20 quid. So, really, really good price. Um, bet it's worth quite a lot more money than that. But besides that, also, people, I have this. When I was in Japan, as you guys may have may have noticed when I was doing my recordings there, I bought myself the Rush Jewel Jewel Disc. This was also inside it. Um, I wasn't going to go ahead and open it up on the channel because everybody else has done it, but not a lot of people showed you the cards full face. And they're in here. So we're going to open these up as well. So we're going to start this up with this first because there is a card in here that is actually worth a stupid amount of money. And uh, I want it in my collection. And also may get it sent out to get graded. So let's crack this open first. Cue the music as you guys know. So here they all are. You get yourself a nice little sticker if you guys want to know what that is. It's called VS, which is like Versus. So you get yourself a nice little promo here, special blue version. This is for, um, I think this is for the uh, Nintendo Switch game, if I call. Oh, it's from um, the new one set. Okay, sweet. But that's going to be for myself as a giveaway in the future. Then you have this. This is pretty much all the stuff that has it. These are all the cards that you make, that you get in the um, in this promo box, but we're not going to show you until later. So let's go ahead and open it up. So there is cards in here that I have no idea what they are, but there is a card in here that I do know what it is, and it's definitely getting sleeved up right away and going straight into my collection. And it is one of my favourites, and of course it is a waifu as well, so she will be expensive in Japan and also in the UK and also in the States. So, the first card here, I have no idea what it is, but it's a light archetype, level 4 with 1400 attack and 200 defense. And I do love the texture of this, I really do wish we ever got Rush Jewel over here in the UK. Then we get ourselves, I think this is like a performing card or is it a wind up? So probably a wind up, a wind up lion or something? 1400 attack, zero defense. Another one of these. So I have, like I said, people, I have no idea what these are, so you get my gist. And there she is. A Rush Jewel Dark Magician Girl. I think this is one of the only ways to get this card, so if you guys ever got the Jewel Disc, you got yourself your hands on this. This is maybe the only way to get this, so it is going to be very sought after. I am so happy I got it, and it is in such minty fresh. And get yourself a legend, legend card, which is the magical cylinders or mystic cylinders. And then you get yourself your um, character cards. Never heard of these guys, but I'm going to class them as like my tokens. But they're going into the Rush Jewel stuff. But we're going to go ahead and sleeve her right up. Hell yes. And sleeve up the rest of them. So let me just go ahead and get my trusty sleeves out, as you guys know. You guys know me too well. Here we go. Let's sleeve these bad boys up. So they're all secrets, which are nice. But now, straight to the booster box though. I have no idea what's in the set. I keep myself in the dark. This is my very first time actually opening up Rush Jewel stuff, so it's my very first time getting this as a collection. So I'm excited. Hopefully you guys are too. And of course, she's going to be the limelight of it all. Look at her. She's ace. So, <laughs> gold Rush packs. So you get 15 packs in the boost box. There's 55 cards in the set. 
It looks like the most sought after cards are seven of them by the look of it, or it might be three of them. I have no idea, but let's go ahead and crack it open. Use my trusty knife off camera because I don't want to get demonetized. Yes, people, as you guys know, I've been demonetized a few times recently throughout this year. Um, I got banned uh, whilst I was playing before I was going to play Dead Island 2, which was the biggest freaking hit on me ever. Why? You may be asking. People are going to ask me why did I get banned. It's because I uploaded a video seven years ago of me looking at a picture of a naked lady in a video game. And the game was pixelating the actual naked lady anyhow. So there was still nothing wrong about it. But whatever, you can't win them all. But anyhow, 15 packs. Let's stop jibber jabbering. The music's already still playing. Let's see what we can pull out of 15 packs. There may be some re vamped cards that get made for rush shuls so there might be some cards that i may recognize some of these though i won't have a clue what they are Ooh, a red eyes card okay nice kyber boy oh yeah kyber man that's cool and we get a super rare okay sweet uh looks like a red eyes card maybe looks cool though i like that we'll slave that up uh, kyber boy so we've got a super rare right there. I'm going to put that down below. I'm going to put the commons to the side with the tokens. So I don't know if you do guarantee a hollow in every pack. Or it, that was actually a really, really good pack. I have no idea. We're going to find out anyhow. So we got ourselves some sort of water monster. Oh, that's a, a, quite a cute card. Another red eyes card. That looks like um, red burst beam. I mean, another super rare by the look of it. Okay, so you may guarantee a hollow rare in every pack. That looks like some sort of roid monster. Or some sort of ancient gear. That's quite cool. And again, people, I may try and get prices of these cards. But if I don't, I do apologise. But I will put the ones that, are, that will say out loud in my head. So they're like, ooh, I know that might be worth something. We'll go ahead and get a price for it. Oh, that's quite adorable too. They're quite, that's quite cute. The little dinosaur. Ooh, is that a pol is that a polarization right there? That is a beautiful artwork there. All white, not red. Oh, it's a goblin. Oh, looks like chess goblin by the look of it. Oh, that is so nice. That is a full hollow, super rare, but blue eyes burst stream blast. Oh, damn, that is nice. So this looks like it's a blue eyes set by the look of it. A blue eyes and a red eyes set? I like the sound of it. Possibly you may get yourself one of them cards maybe, I do not know. But we could find out sooner or later. Uh, looks like some sort of trap for the reinforcement army. Oh! That's an OG card. That was a fusion card back in the old Yu-Gi-Oh era. Nice to see it as a common, I mean as a, um, a vanilla card. Looks like a Cosmo field spell. Oh, an ultra! Oh, damn! Look at that! That is nice! Okay, 20... This could be an ace card, because it's got level 7. It's 2,500 and 1,600 defense, like a Dark Magician. Oh, that looks mint! That looks like some sort of, like, Kamen Rider type of monster. That looks mint! Oh, damn! So we've got our first ultra rare from the booster box. That's really good. I don't know if you guarantee one ultra rare, or maybe two if you're lucky. I have no idea what the pull rate are in Rush Jewel, so it's my first time. There's a band card right there, Red Eyes Black Chick. Hell yeah, great card. Okay, that looks cool. Oh, and another retro mo monster right there. And that is cool, we got a nun. Hey, what's up, sister? Uh, that's possibly some sort of like graceful charity type of trap card by the look of it. I have no idea, but quite cool. Apologies if I am taking my time with these, that I should really go quick with these, but remember people, this is my first time actually opening up Rush Jewel. And when it comes to these types of new sets and everything, that is new to me, I'll take my time with them. Oh wow, look at that, it's a freaking um, half human, half horse. I keep forgetting what they're called now, I do apologise. If you guys know what they're called, please leave it in the comments down below. So that's quite cool, 1600 attack, 1200 defence, level 5 as well, quite not bad. I have heard as well in Rush Jewel, it was li it's like a no holds bar type of Yu-Gi-Oh. It's like there's no like um, 
you summon one, special summon as many as you want, and then that's it. This is just summon everything you've got in your hand, and hope to God you win. We got Beaver Warrior, OG card right there. Uh, looks like something for the Monarchs. Uh, probably for Performinals. OMG! Look at that card! Uh, looks like Dark Magic Attack by the look of it. Oh, damn, that looks nice. I'm loving these new Dark Magician cards right here, people. I really am loving them. Force Rush Jewel. They may be the same cards that we have in the UK, but I like the look of it because it's a bigger picture than just text. Another trap card for Red Eyes. Ooh, that looks nice too. That's some, some sort of peacock. A fiery peacock. Super rare right there. I like it. So you do get yourself a guaranteed super rare in these packs, which I do not mind. At least you get some nice hollows. But we're not full of double yet, so that's really good as well. I don't want to get a crap ton of doubles. Okay. Another gambling um, chess playing goblin. Oh! What? Well, we got English right here. It's an ultra rare. Um, Cam Melo D. Okay. Uh, oh, Can Melo. Can Melo. Okay. I like that. That is really nice. That could probably be one of the chasers by the look of it. I do not know because there could potentially be secret rares in this set as well. But we've got two ultra rares out of a boost box. That's really good. Don't have a clue. Like I said, I don't have a clue what the pull rate is for ultras and secrets. Or there possibly could be legendary cards or something, for what I've been told. But either way, I don't mind. Ooh, 10 Sion Max. Looks like you boost up 1,000 attack by the look of it. Looks nice. That's cool. I like the look of that. Next pack. We're almost finished with, the, with this set, people. So... This has been really good. Now you may be thinking, is there going to be more Rush Jewel in the future? There is in another episode, which is be next for you. Oh, I like the look of that D. That's quite cool. Um, but when it hits January, as you guys know, next month is my birthday month. We'll be opening up a lot of Rush Jewel, people. The last lot that I've got left from Japan. So get yourself prepared for that, because that is going to be epic. And don't forget as well... 151, I'm still hunting him down as we speak, people, or else this video is getting recorded. And I'm almost finished to getting the whole set, so. Oh! What is that? What is that? Yo, that is pure gold! No! What is that card? It looks like it's got one, two, three, four. Looks like it's got five heads, but it's got 2,000, 2,500 attack, zero defense, it's a level eight. It's a pure gold card. I have no idea how much this card is worth. This thing looks like it's pure godliness. Um, I need something very protective for this. I have a feeling this card is worth a lot. So I'm freaking out right now. I have no idea what this is. Probably future me right now, when he's editing this video, he's going to be freaking out like crazy. Right there, people. Look at that. That is a gorgeous card. Jeez. That's even more beautiful than a ghost rare or an ultimate rare. This is like pure gold. Damn. I love it. I'm going out to the side right there. That could probably be rivaling the Dark Magician Girl on how expensive that card could be. Oh, damn! Okay. Okay, my excitement is actually confused, but also very concerning. That that could be really, really expensive. Let's go ahead and keep opening it up. Okay, uh, that's just unexpected. Next pack. Oh, nice! Mystic Stone, or Magic Stone, whatever you want to call it. Some nice retro cards. Really, really nice retro people, but... Oop, I almost knocked over the camera, but I really want to know how much that card really is. And I will find out when I finish recording this episode. Because I am very, very, very interested in how much that card is worth. Oh, damn. Kyber Man. Oh, another Ultra! That's three Ultras! So possibly you're guaranteed to get yourself three Ultras in a boost box. But I don't think you're guaranteed that. Is that... That's a Fusion Monster. Okay. Nice to see Fusion Monsters in this in the um, set as well. 
first fusion monster C in it. Final to last second up and um, final pack of Destiny people. Can we end it off with another amazing heart hollow? I don't think I need to be able because that is pure luck. That's definitely Christmas right there. What do we have? And whoa! Some sort of purple blast or something? It's widespread ruin type of stuff? With crush card virus? That looks nice. But yeah, people, out of all them packs, people, as you guys know, that is like our main card we were going after because we just got that randomly. But we have some cool ultra rares right here, some awesome reprints like this one here. Really, I have no idea how much I made right here, people, but I know for sure this right here is worth a lot. It really is worth a lot. And I'm going to find out off camera people. So if you guys want to know what it is, I'm sure you've already seen the price. But holy crap, was I lucky or was I unfortunate? I do not know. But if you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Remember people, we're trying to get to 30,000 subscribers. If you guys can get me to that point, I'd absolutely appreciate every single one of you. With that being said, the people have a salute to you guys for subscribing. And I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio! Oh my goodness, a gold card in the first but in the first pack opening? The gods love me. What a great start to start Christmas. I like getting these. These are nice. I don't have a clue what the values are, but I'm sure they'll pop up right now. Ah! Ah!